Madam Speaker, as you can already tell, we have a very strong uh, class of new members this year. And I'd like to turn to another that comes from the state of Utah, a, a state that I don't think it's the highest with federal land uh, ownership, but pretty darn close. 63%, I understand, of the land in, in uh, Blake Moore's state is under federal ownership. And I know Mr. Moore has a great perspective on this issue, and I'm very anxious to, to welcome him and uh, give him the floor so that he can share with us his thoughts. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Appreciate it. And when you say perspective, the part I'd like to highlight is it's about balance. And I'm going to speak to that a little bit, but before my comments get drowned out in some of the prepared statements, making sure there's balance benefits all. And uh, it's something that I'm really passionate about and Utahns are passionate about. Madam Speaker, I rise today to call on the Biden administration to reverse its unilateral orders, including Executive Order 14008, pausing new oil and gas leases on federal land, secretarial order. 3395, suspending mineral leases, leasing and permits, and Executive Order 13990, revoking the Keystone XL pipeline permit. Utah, as you mentioned, has the second highest percentage of federally owned land at around 4, 65%. Approximately 10,000 Utahns rely on the oil and gas industry for their employment and livelihoods. These orders will result in Utah families losing their jobs and will reduce crucial funding for, yes, conservation programs that protect the natural wonders of my home state and our great country. They will make our country more reliant on imported energy from other countries with lower environmental standards than our own and weaken our national security foothold. Restricting extraction has real costs for our schools, our first responders, and public servants. The, and, and, and public services. The Keystone Pipeline's MOU with North America's building trade unions will provide $10 million, $10 million in renewable energy uh, job training for union workers and invest a total of $1.7 billion in renewable energy infrastructure, proving that a productive balance of development and conservation can be achieved. Rushed executive actions do not allow for collaboration with the people who are directly impacted by these decisions. Utahns will feel the negative effects of these, social, of these orders and I encourage the administration to reverse these actions and work with a bipartisan group of legislators on solutions that both protect and develop our cherished lands. I ran on a sincere desire to work with the administration to promote productivity over partisanship, and I stand by that commitment today, and I yield back. Thank you.